our dad, he was a jokester. He was almost never serious. Just like a free personality and genuinely like a really fun person to be around. I will say he was definitely one of those people that like, he either knew everyone or everyone knew him. I swear we could not go anywhere without someone being like, hey Mikey, what's up? And we're like, yeah. who is this? Who is yeah. this person that you're talking to? I finally got the position on the varsity team. I was so happy and excited to tell him. They were like, well, he's in the hospital, so like you gotta go visit him. And I was like, dad, guess what? And he was like, hold on, like I have something to tell you. And then that's when he told us like what he was diagnosed with. And it was kind of just like, like the world stopped a little bit. To be told that there's nothing else that someone can do for the person you love, like. At the James, our dad, he was not just a number. He was a person here. He wasn't just a patient. He was almost like their family here too. So anything we could really give back, we'll never repay yeah. like those three oh. years that we ended up getting. I told my mom what I was planning on doing and I was like, here, you need to hold my steer. So she holds my dairy beef, fold up the piece of paper and I go give it to someone on the dairy beef committee. And I was like, you, I need you to give this to the auctioneer. I really need you to have them read this. Mike Bondoni passed away from colon cancer on January 3rd of this year. He has been a lifelong supporter of this fair and especially his two daughters. Hey, Eric, give me what, 10 bucks a pound? I got 10 bucks, I mean five, seven, yeah. 50. I got five, seven and a half a pound. I got seven and yeah. a half 10 bucks a pound, 12, 50 a pound, $15 a pound. I got 15 a pound. We chose to donate here specifically because we wanted to impact people more like closely to what our dad was going through. We're meeting with Dr. Clady and getting to know what our money is going towards. With the BRAF mutation that our dad had, um, we know that they are specifically looking into fixing that. So not only are we making a difference in other patients' lives, like it's hopefully gonna turn out better for like our family in the future.